हरे कृष्णा रॉन्ग डूइंग इज नॉट जस्ट द रॉन्ग दैट वी डू बट ऑल्सो द राइट दैट वी डोंट डू ऑल ऑफ अस हैव टू मेक चॉइसेस इन लाइफ and sometimes we make right choices sometimes we make wrong choices sometimes we act in morally wrong ways now what exactly is a wrong doing if a thief robs someone that's a wrong doing but while the thief is robbing someone if the police does nothing the police may say that i didn't do anything wrong yes but the police also did not do the right thing that they were expected to do that they are paid to do that they are obliged to do so just as the thieves robbing is a wrong doing similarly the police silence is also a wrong doing it is such a wrong doing that the veterans the elders on the opposite side in the kurukshetra war on the setting on which the bhagavad gita was spoken the elders were guilty of that arjuna was fighting against the kauravas and he felt how can i fight against them he says okay he says durodhana is guilty he is greedy he is vicious but bhishma and drona are my elders how can i fight against them so in 2.4 he asked कथम भीष्म संखे द्रोणम च मधुसूदन ईशु भी प्रतियोत्स्यामी पूजारिसूदन ओ कृष्ण टू दोज एल्डर्स हूम आई शुड बी ऑफरिंग फ्लॉवर्स इन रिस्पेक्ट हाउ कैन आई शूट एरोज एट दैम सो द आंसर इज वॉट कृष्ण गिव्स बाय रेजिंग अर्जुन एज कॉन्शियसनेस Arjuna understands by the flow of the Gita that the Kaurava, that the Bhishma and Drona are guilty of derelict, dereliction of their duty, and it is that dereliction of duty, that failure to do the right thing, which is their wrongdoing. And similarly, the Bhagavad Gita is not just a discussion restricted to its specific context. it goes far beyond that to have universal applications so for us as souls some of us may live pious lives and we may say i'm not doing any harm to anyone i'm not doing anything bad be good do good talk good people say yes that's good but it's not good enough why not good enough because we may not be doing anything wrong but we are souls who are parts of krishna and we are by our very nature meant to connect with him and to delight in that connection and if we don't do that then we will be dragged by our mind and senses here there and everywhere in 15.7 krishna says mamai bam sho jeev loke jeev bhuta sanatanah manah shashthani indriyani प्रकृति स्थानी करशति इफ यू डोंट कनेक्ट विथ मी एज माई पार्ट योर माइंड एंड सेंस विल ड्रैग यू एवरीवेयर सो इवन इफ राइट नाउ वी आर वेल सिचुएटेड राइट नाउ आर माइंड एंड सेंसेज आर नॉट एजुटेटिंग अस इट्स जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ टाइम इधर इन दिस लाइफ और इन अ फ्यूचर लाइफ वेर विल बी टेम्पटेड एंड ड्रैग्ड अवे इफ वी डोंट स्टे कनेक्टेड विथ कृष्ण सो भक्ति is not just about living a pious life it is about not piety but spirituality and that spirituality centers on connecting with krishna so in that ultimate sense krishna concludes in 18.58 when he says machitta sarva durgani mat prasada tarishyasi ath chet tum ahankaran nashroshyasi vinangshasi if you become conscious of me will pass over all obstacles by my grace that is the right thing which you are meant to do if you don't do this if however you out act out of ego not hearing me you will be lost now we may be lost in impiety or we may be lost in piety but in both cases will be lost so we understand 
through the Gita's wisdom, the devotion means that its, its message essentially is not just to avoid the wrong, but also to do the right, to connect with Krishna and thus find the right way to everlasting happiness. Thank you. Hare Krishna.